What up YouTube, Collecting Yinzer, back with a new video. It is release week for 2020 Allen and & Ginter. Um, and I've got to be honest, I'm really excited for the product this year. I've seen some pictures. The cards look really, really good. Um, I have a blaster box, a rack pack, or a value like cello pack, and a rack pack. Um, I'm always excited for Allen & Ginter, but I, I'm a little bit optimistic. Um, this is the first product other than Heritage and score that was not completely just bought out um, at Walmart. My target um, has implemented a two item um, per person max, but um, our Walmart doesn't. Now 2020 Donruss football um, <clears throat> got completely bought out, which sucks because um, as most of you probably know, I'm a big fan of the Donruss um, regular Donruss, the optic, and I'm also a huge fan of um, the mosaic and prism of Panini, but it's all good. So let's just go ahead and get into this. I, the cards this year look absolutely awesome. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here. These cards are great for TTMs and IP autos. Um, as most of you probably know, Mike O is a huge fan of the Ginter cards. There's a mini there. Um, so we got Lorenzo Kane. Miguel Sano. Well, a Mike Trout right there. That is super, super awesome. It has the shadow um, there. I wonder if they made like a shadowless insert um, in homage to the old Pokemon cards. Nomar Garcia Parra, Anthony Rizzo, Anthony Pettit, Trevor Story. So I got two minis. Um, so we got a Phil Rizzuto and then where monsters live, the ocean. So I don't know if that's like a short print or what, but that's pretty cool. Raleigh Fingers, David Ortiz, Aroldis Chapman, Ozzy Smith. So, um... I forgot to show the odds for that. Um, I guess that's a black border, maybe. Um, it's one out of five. I don't know. But as most people know, there's all sorts of uh, different short prints, like no numbers up at the top. And um, so it doesn't look like we got any you know, inserts per se, but that Mike Trout's awesome. So let's go ahead and open the cellos next. Um, so the cellos have three Allen and Ginter packs plus five exclusive gold parallel cards. I do not know if those are the minis or their regular cards or what, but they're the odds for that in case anyone wants to read it. Um, here's what the pack art. Um, the packs look like have a really nice basic design. There's the information. And again, if anyone wants to look at the um, odds, so let's go ahead. Nice Sandy Koufax. That's another good one for a binder that Larry Walker would look amazing signed in blue sharpie I think and uh, he was signed in TTM I don't know if he still does angler fish Will Clark this is what the back of the cards look like for like the non ball players um, and then for the baseball players that's what the backs look like so no short prints that I can tell there. Next pack. Ichiro. Juan Rodriguez. Base on balls. Nine ways to first. Interesting. That'd be... I'd like to see what the other inserts are for that. That's pretty cool. One World Trade Center. That's a... Really nice insert card there. Uh, 
that's going to have to go in a binder. I think that looks incredible. And Eddie Murray. So, last pack from the cello, like the value pack, the three packs. Before we get to the gold cards, we got Javi Baez, David Dahl, Josh Hader. Oh, there's a nice one. Ralph Kiner for the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. The regular back. I wonder if that's a short print. Number 337. Alright, so it looks like the golds are the minis. So let's see what golds we got. Um, no rookies that I can remember getting off the top of my head. Um, let's see here. So Yastrzemski, George Springer, Aaron Nola. There's a rookie, Brendan McKay, rookie card logo down there. Dennis Eckersley. So, all right. And now to the blaster box. Um, the blaster box contains seven packs plus one extra pack with six cards per pack. Um, so eight packs in total with six cards. There's all the, there's the uh, odds for the box there. So let's see what we get here. A um, bunch of people have been freaking out. Apparently Chip and Joanna Gaines are an autograph in this year's product. And um, they're also base cards. And their autographs are just going for like crazy amounts of money. Um, like I saw one that was dual signed by them. You know, the, if, for those of you that don't know, they have a channel on uh, the, what is it, HGTV. And um, they're pretty popular. And apparently their cards are popular because uh, I think a dual signed card by them is like $750. So we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight packs. Let's just go with pack number one. These cards really do look great this year. Nice Jim Abbott, Carter Kaiboom, Gary Sheffield, an Allen and Ginter back of Aroldis Chapman. This is what the A and G backs look like this year. That's pretty nice. Next pack. That's weird right there. That's like a really thick. I don't know what's up with that. We're going to save that pack for last. I don't know what's up with that. All right. It'd be cool to get like a Luis Robert or something. Hank Aaron, Taipei 101. Those building cards are really cool. So, all right. Next pack. Just kind of throwing all the trash over there. Cole Calhoun, no center guard. Do not know who that is. Julian Edwards. Brooks Robinson, another Ginter back. Miguel Cabrera, Juan Soto. So nice. Alan Ginter back for the human vacuum cleaner. Oh, maybe they're all like that. Hmm. All right, we'll go to that uh, that pack next then. I thought that was something weird, but I guess not. Roger Maris. All right, so we'll go to this one. I thought that that was a different... Oh, it has a hit in it. Interesting. Okay. Well, then we'll save the hit for last. 
David Price bordered card. Nice Roberto Clemente for the Pirates. So that's cool. At least get a relic or an auto, a framed one. Interested to see who that is. And the that fell off, okay. Another Sandy Koufax, DJ LeMayhew. So that monster, where monsters live, that's cool. That's a cool set for sure. I guess they're all the like a black border. All right. Two packs left before we get to the, the hit. Baez, David Dahl, Phil Rizzuto, a Colossal Squid, Behemoth Beneath. A farmer for down on the farm and Carlton Fisk. All right, and last pack. Christian Yelich on the back. Dunst, Tony Dunst. Rob Friedman. Fielder's Choice for Nine Ways the First and Christian Yelich. All right. So really nice Mucina card there with, um, I can feel the piece of jersey up there. So this card is facing this way. It is backwards. So... So it is a game-used memorabilia card. Of Ricky Henderson. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely a better name to get. Um, could have been much, much worse. So, yeah, guys. I appreciate everyone watching. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Um, hope everyone's staying healthy. Best of luck to you in your box, po box breaks, pack breaks, retail and hobby hunting, TTMs. Whatever you're into, best of luck, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.